witch hunt, witch hunt, scam, hoax. It's called election interference, and they're doing the best they can with it. A defiant former President Donald Trump making the campaign rounds this weekend, seemingly unfazed by his federal indictment, accusing him of mishandling classified documents. And Trump will soon be heading here to South Florida, where he'll appear in federal court to face criminal charges on Tuesday. And the historic case is already creating a political firestorm in the race for the White House. Look what's in Terrell Fournay. He's live outside the courthouse in downtown Miami with our top story at 6. Terrell. Yeah, a lot of activity here at the Wilkie D. Ferguson Courthouse. Even on this Sunday, we've seen security officers patrolling the exterior of this building. And we know that law enforcement partners, they have been meeting over the weekend to ensure that the arraignment of a former president goes off without a hitch. Former President Donald Trump is remaining defiant as he faces a federal criminal indictment that accuses him of mishandling sensitive government secrets. As far as the joke of an indictment. It's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing for this country. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's driven my poll numbers way up. That speech over the weekend was in North Carolina during Trump's first public appearance since word came down that he would be facing criminal charges. The Justice Department's 49 page indictment says Trump endeavored to obstruct the FBI and grand jury investigations and conceal his continued retention of classified documents, documents containing info on the U.S. nuclear programs and defense and weapons capabilities of both the United States and foreign countries. Boxes of documents were seized by the FBI in a raid last year at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Classified material found in a bedroom, ballroom and bathroom. Reaction about the special counsel's decision to indict poured in across the Sunday morning political shows, including from Miami's mayor. This is just just feels un-American. It feels wrong at some level. And I think people are very frustrated that they don't see the equal application of justice, that they don't see the same fervor, the same uh, intensity of investigations and prosecutions on the other side of the aisle. And I think that's where a lot of the frustration lies. Everyone has to be very straightforward and transparent about it and acknowledge uh, the realities of the severity of these accusations and, and these allegations and the fact that they, again, they're very real, they're self-inflicted. Media from across the country are now positioned outside of the courthouse where Trump is set to appear before a judge on Tuesday. Supporters are even organizing an on-site rally. And one live look here, you see all of these tents set up outside of the courthouse, dozens and dozens of uh, camera crews, reporters, uh, outlets here, and they will be here through Tuesday. Again, that arraignment is set for 3 p.m. here in downtown Miami, and we will be here to cover it all. Reporting live from Miami, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. All right, Terrell, thank you, and stay with Local 10 on air and online as this historic case continues to unfold.